Hello guys, Solid Gamer here, and today I will be talking about the worst Isekai anime I have ever seen, which is the master of Ragnarok and blesser of N. Herjar. This was not only an Isekai anime, but a harm anime as well. It fails both as an Isekai anime and as a harm anime. I have never been so happy to drop a show after 4 episodes. It was that bad. In this anime, the main character Yuto is suddenly transported to another world one day. All he brought with him to this world is a smartphone. Yuto becomes the leader of the Wolf Clan and plans to protect the Wolf Clan from invaders and help the clan prosper. The two main reasons why this anime was so horrible to me was lots of important scenes being skipped over and not being explained and how horrible the harm aspect of this anime was. This anime doesn't show how the main character was transported to this different world. It shows it briefly in the opening, but it would have been much better to show the scene in the actual anime. I have never seen Isekai anime series skip over important scenes like that. In this anime, the main character is immediately seen as the leader of the Wolf Clan. We don't get to see how the Wolf Clan reacted to him at first, or how he earned the trust of this Wolf Clan. That information is just skipped over. It's like they skipped over the first volume in the light novel series. This anime studio did such a lazy job at adapting the light novel. When you're watching the anime, you feel like you're missing out on so many things, and that you have to read the first volume of the light novel to even understand the plot. An anime should never force you to read the source material first. It should already do a great job on its own of explaining the setting, characters, and plot. The other reason why this anime was horrendous was that this anime is clearly a harm anime with the main character being surrounded by attractive girls, but in this, but in this anime, the main character has no interest in any of the girls in his harem. He only wants to get back to his home eventually and confess his love to his childhood friend who is just a minor character in this anime. Why even put a harem around the main character if he doesn't have any interest in them whatsoever? That is so stupid. A harem anime where the main character doesn't want to be with any of the girls, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in a harem anime series. They should have just made this only an isekai anime and have the main character be surrounded by guys. Don't watch this anime. It is horrendous. The harm aspect of this anime is just pointless and the anime skipped over too much content that was in the light novel and just feels so unsatisfying to watch when you feel like you have to read the light novel first in order to understand anything. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.